potentially one of the greatest 2D Sonic games for a lot of Sonic fans is now here, Sonic Mania. Hey everybody, Matt Lovania here and welcome to my new Let's Play of Sonic Mania, being played on the PS4 Pro version. Uh, I originally intended to play this on the PC uh, port, but sadly uh, that got <laughs> delayed uh, by two weeks. So I figured, you know, uh, I wanted to play this game as soon as possible, as soon as it came out. So I went on my way and bought another version of the game. And yes, this is the PS4 Pro that I'm playing on. And I am really unbelievably excited to play this game for you guys. Uh, yes, this game is uh, made by the same people that brought you the uh, remasters of Sonic 1, 2, and CD. Uh, the remasters, specifically. And uh, yeah, in my opinion, those are the... Uh, definitive versions that you should play if you haven't played them then I highly recommend you play them yourself they're pretty awesome anyways uh, yes this is Sonic Mania the one of the two games that celebrates the 25th anniversary for Sonic the Hedgehog and uh, if you're curious of what the other game is, it's Sonic Forces, which is expecting to be released uh, later this year. And uh, <laughs> uh, we haven't really seen much of that game. Well, well, we have seen a few trailers, but um, yeah, between this and Sonic Forces, I, <laughs> ironically enough, I was uh, more hyped to play this game. Than, uh, Sonic Forces, but um, until that game comes out, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm I'm pretty sure this is uh, what the majority of the Sonic fan base was pretty hyped up to play. So, yeah, uh, I guess without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, Oh, if you're curious of what the, um, extras are, I kinda, um, I, I didn't really practice or tested this, so this is, <laughs> uh, my first time booing this game up, but, yeah, so far we don't have any extras unlocked. So all we got is Mania Mode, which is, uh, the single player. And right here we got a, uh, a Sonic 3 style, uh, level select. And... There is... I, I actually counted before I started recording, but there's eight total save files, so... Yeah, you got a ton there. So we can either play as Sonic and Tails, Sonic alone, Tails alone, and Knuckles. And I think for this playthrough, I will be sticking with Sonic and Tails. I don't know if there is a significant difference to playing as Knuckles, kind of like in Sonic 3 and Knuckles where the level designs were uh, a little bit different and the story was altered a little bit. If there is, then maybe I, I could play as Knuckles through the main story later on, but for the main playthrough, I'm going to stick with Sonic and Tails. And, uh, right here, if you go to No Save, uh, there's a button that has secrets. And there's, uh, three, and we don't have any unlocked, obviously. So, we're gonna have to see what those are later on, but, uh, yeah. We are gonna go ahead and get started with Sonic Mania with Sonic and Tails. Right off the bat, this... Yeah, for those who don't know, that, like, that right there is like a throwback to Sonic 3's opening. We got 
bunch of egg robos. That's what those enemies are are uh, bleh, 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 called. <laughs> Great start. <laughs> so yeah, apparently we got warped to Green Hill Zone, iconic zone for Sonic the Hedgehog, and yeah, here we go. We got a remastered Green Hill Zone to play through. So I'm thinking for each part. Uh, I'll probably be playing through at least one zone. Because, uh, yeah, uh, there, as far as I've heard, there are a lot of things to explore around here. Even in this one zone. Oh, got a secret in the checkpoint. And we got the classic Blue Spheres from uh, Sonic 3. I'm really, really, <laughs> I'm actually really happy that they brought this back because uh, I think for the majority, this is uh, probably everyone's favorite uh, special stage type. Yeah, so I don't know what exactly you get for these, but I'm gonna try and do my best. I'm probably gonna get perfect. Yeah, and unlike, uh, unlike Sonic 3, uh, instead of the rings counting up, they're going down, which is pretty nice. As far as control, it's, um... Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be really hard with the uh, sound delay. Alright, there we go. As far as control, it's, um, it feels pretty much the same. Uh... I, I don't know if it's just me that notices it, but I notice a slight delay. Then again, that, that might be because of, uh... Like, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not really exactly playing Sonic 3, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna have to get used to that, I guess. So yeah, Green Hill Zone, a very iconic zone introduced in the first Sonic the Hedgehog game for the Sega Genesis. It's been, <laughs> been brought back so many times. Yeah, and I'm, I'm kind of playing this game, uh, I guess you could say sort of blind, because uh, I have seen most of the stuff that uh, the uh, they that they showed off on like YouTube or Twitter. So I've seen most of that, but uh, yeah, uh, so far, um. Uh, it's gonna be really hard to talk because this is like my the first Sonic game I'm playing for the channel. It's <laughs> I don't know. It's not really nerve-wracking so far, but uh, I'm willing to bet later on it's gonna get really hectic to think of stuff to say. But yeah, uh, I can't really be believe that this game is finally here. <laughs> Uh, do I want the bubble shield? Yeah, so the elemental shields are brought back from Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Which I'm very happy about. Okay, um... Yeah, so we got those types of special stages where you can hit the checkpoint and you can get brought into blue spheres. And I've heard there are, are special... I can't even say the, <laughs> the word right. Uh, special stages where you can get Chaos Emeralds. I... So like I... <laughs> I guess like I say in the, um... In the majority of my playthroughs, 
Uh, I don't know if this will be a 100% uh, playthrough. I'm gonna do my best to show uh, most of the things off as much as I can. And <laughs> I'm not sure you want to bet I, I already missed uh, a, a special ring. Probably over a 50% chance I did. So I've heard that uh, this game is uh, the size and scale of this game is comparable to Sonic 3 and Knuckles combined. So can't wait to, to play the rest of it. And here we go, the, um, the new type of special stage. It's a uh, uh, most people compare this. Or make the comparison to, uh, like, being a mix of Sonic CD and Sonic 3 special stages. And I can see that with, like, the blue spheres and the, the UFO you're trying to chase. So your main goal is to try and catch up to it. And you're, you're trying to collect as many blue orbs as you can to gain, to gain more speed. And you're trying to collect rings to not run out of time. Oh! <laughs> okay, that was quick. Got our first Chaos Emerald. <laughs> yeah, and there's the, there's the jingle. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> oh, and it just becomes that now. I'm wondering if uh, collecting all seven will give you Super Sonic, like the classic games. That's gotta be a reward. I'm thinking for those <laughs> types of stages, I'm gonna be playing with the. I'm gonna be using the control stick, just because it's like in a 3D space. So yeah, these um, Blue Sphere level designs are. Sort of familiar. I have, a. Uh, I did go back and play Sonic 3 and Knuckles, uh, recently. Just, you know, I guess for practice for this game. So yeah, these, um, do look familiar. Oh yeah, and I, I absolutely love the remixes. Shoutouts to T-Lopes for the compositions. They're really, really spot on. Especially like the, the new ones like Studi Studiopolis and uh, Mirage Saloon. Yeah, so it get it progressively gets uh, faster the longer you, the longer you play. Yeah, and if you surround the grid of blue spheres like that, then it'll turn to rings. There we go, that's our second perfect in blue spheres. Yeah, and the medals gotta do something. I, I don't know what exactly they do, but they gotta reward you with something with those. I want to see if I can, uh... I actually have seen footage of this boss. So I'm gonna see if I can do what, uh... Like, one of the people in the demo did. Is that... You grab the invincibility before the boss. And you can take it out faster. Here 
Here we go. Not too bad, pretty easy for the first level. And like Sonic 3, uh, when you clear a stage, uh, the goal sign uh, falls down and you're able to juggle it for a while, for as long as you can. And depending on where it lands, I'm gonna let it land. Yeah, certain items will pop out like that. <laughs> I like how you get a cool bonus. I don't know what stipulates that. Here we go with Green Hill Zone Act 2, and like Sonic 3 Knuckles, uh, the stage, uh, can it moves uh, at a continuous pace like that, or transitions in a similar fashion. Which I like also. I, <laughs> I also like the remixes as well. That's been a new thing since Sonic 3, is that the... As you move between acts, the music... The... The melody and the music uh, become slightly different. Oh yeah. <laughs> Obviously I have the fire shield, so any projectiles they throw at me I can reflect. Here we go with our third blue sphere. Stage in. Again, this is a fam familiar design. I have all the spe uh, special stage designs, I... Hmm. This is probably uh, one of my favorites. A lot of uh, fans have uh, complained that the like, half-pipe design from Sonic 2 has been redone to death in so many other games, and I can... I can agree with that. <laughs> that I guess that's all I have to say on that, is like, I can agree with that. Uh, they brought him back in, like, Sonic Heroes and Sonic 4 Episode 2. And so many other games that I can't really think of right now. In like the Sonic 1 special stages. Those weren't those ones weren't really my favorite. The Sonic CD ones, though, were pretty unique. Okay, you jump over this. And that's how you get the perfect. <laughs> Something tells me that this streak I'm going on isn't gonna last for long. I don't know exactly how many special rings are in each level. Alright, sorry about that guys. I have no idea what just happened, but... Uh, technical difficulties with the capture card. I think I just, uh... I might have lost my shield. Alright, but anyways, uh... Yeah, I had to... Reset all the cables, but... Now we're back. Probably had to do a little cut there. Made this into a separate video, which means more fun editing for me. Great. <laughs> okay. This is our fourth uh, Blue Sphere stage. And I definitely recognize this one. This one, I think, is the first one you do in... Sonic and Knuckles. So they're mixing it up a bit. So... Thus making it not so uh, familiar. Oh, wait. <laughs> Messed up already. I can... There we go, I can salvage it. Oh, that, that's definitely different. 
Again, it might be my mind playing tricks on me, but I swear there's like a a, a delay of sorts when it comes to turning. I mean, you touch uh, the yellow spheres to uh, bounce very far. Okay, now I got <laughs> now I gotta remember where the uh, the rest of the blue spheres are. Right here, and done. A nice gold medal. Yeah, and I saw that special ring down there. Um, maybe I have to go down? Uh, not quite like that. <laughs> Isn't there, like, a way for... For Tails to carry you? Oh yeah, okay. I think you have to press up and jump in the air. I'm not exactly exactly sure because uh, I, I totally forgot to explain it. I'll explain when we uh, get outside. But Sonic has a new move. Brand new move in this game. Let's, uh... Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah, I missed terribly there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I told you it wouldn't last for long. Uh, yeah, I think uh, the jumping's kind of weird, or the depth per perception is kind of weird. Like everything, I'm just gonna have to get used to it. But yeah, uh, Sonic has a new move, similar to the Spin Dash, and it's the Drop Dash. Is that if you press Jump in the mi in midair, then he'll immediately dash once he touches the ground, which is pretty cool if uh, you're one to speed run. Going for our fifth now. Yeah, and this is uh, another Sonic and Knuckles special stage design, I believe. <laughs> okay, that that one's pretty tough to jump over if you want to get the rings there. Even though it's been, uh, like, <laughs> since I played Three Knuckles recently, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna have a tough time remembering where everything is, somehow. But we got the perfect anyway. I feel like I'm doing, <laughs> like, a much better job at these stages than, uh, the new ones. So, I don't know what that says about me. Alright, I'm... I guess if I look hard enough, I can find another special ring around here. Oh yeah, <laughs> I... Oh, and I got a trophy! Now it can't hurt you, I believe. It says, if you have the fire shield on the wooden bridge, then uh, you can burn it down. Which is like a nice detail they added. And if you burn that... Yeah, I, I remember that. You get a bunch of rings down there. Somehow you can't burn these bridges, though. <laughs> kind of inconsistent. I was close hitting those spikes. That'd be like a dick move of them. But, they wouldn't be that cruel to us yet. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm... <laughs> I'm missing a lot of, uh... Like, a lot of secrets right now.
Yeah, I think one zone per part seems uh, fair enough. Just to keep this uh, uh, playthrough ongoing for as long as possible. You want to keep playing the good games for, for as long as you can, I, I suppose. Yeah, e yeah, even though I have the drop dash, I I still like to spin dash, uh, like in the old days. Oh, okay, I thought, <laughs> for a second there I thought I screwed up on, uh, collecting a blue sphere in the, like, in the middle. Yeah. Um, I think for getting the gold medals, you have to get perfects. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna get those yet. Uh, I'll save those for later. Uh, I haven't been this way yet. I'll save you. Yeah, if, um, I guess if you're prone to motion sickness, then I don't think these <laughs> special stages are meant for you. Because these can get really, really fast. Really quickly. Oh god, there's like, there's six left? I don't even know where they are. <laughs> and that's gonna make me freak out. No! I've been here before. Where haven't I been before? Yeah, and you see that everything starts to look the same. Oh, wait a minute. I saw him. Uh, oh god. <laughs> Damn it. I almost got it. It's so jerkish. Ah. <laughs> uh. Damn. Well, better luck next next time, I guess. Because you're moving so fast during that part, you can't control yourself. I guess I can try to redeem myself here. Yeah, you, s you move, you start to move after a while, if you don't move in the beginning. Okay. Uh, I don't think I said this before, but if you're curious, um... In terms of the drop dash and who has it, I think only Sonic can do that. I guess that's uh, just to disting distinguish them from uh, Tails and Knuckles. Because uh, Tails can obviously fly, and uh, Knuckles can gl uh, glide and climb walls. Don't know if that was a smart move on my part. Maybe not. <laughs> Damn it. I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the screen locks. Okay. And now we got the boss of Act 2. This may look familiar. It's the uh, Death Egg robot from Sonic 2. So, uh, that lock-on cursor, he's, uh, throwing bombs, that's where the bombs are gonna land. Guess we gotta get up close and personal to him. Take advantage of the iframes there. If you don't know what that means, then, uh, it means, uh, in invincibility frames. 
Yeah, and I don't think uh, Sonic has the Insta Shield here. Or maybe that might be a move we can unlock at some point. Yeah, so when his arm extends like that, that's when we can jump on him. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Tails uh, took care of him. Normally in, like, the classic titles, he would be, like, a... He'd be in the way because, like, if Tails hits it, hits an, uh, like, a boss like him, then the... <laughs> then you can get hit from the uh, invincibility frames. Which is which was always annoying. We got a little bit of a cutscene. I believe these... <laughs> I, I actually like this. This is pretty cool. Yeah, those enemies are called the Hard-Boiled Heavies. Eggman's new... robotic mech group. <laughs> well, that's cute. Chemical Plant Zone Act 1. Stage from Sonic 2. And I think that's where we're going to end this first part. And <laughs> I, I guess before we end, uh, I, I like those uh, little animations that uh, Sonic and uh, the rest of his friends can do. But yeah, uh, next time we will be going through Chemical Plant Zone. See you guys then.